my beloved brothers and sisters, Musa alayhi salam, one of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who was mentioned the most in the Quran. In this particular surah, Allah Almighty speaks about how at one stage he responded to a question, who is the most knowledgeable? He said, I am. And Allah wanted to show him that in fact, Allah is the one who is the most knowledgeable and he gives knowledge to whomsoever he wishes. So from that, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him meet Al Khidr. And as he was going with one of his servants on the path of the coast, he lost his fish, which was prepared as a luncheon. And upon the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you lose that fish, as you go in, you will find a man. When you see him, you need to talk to him and perhaps you may learn a thing or two from him. Lo and behold, they met this man, Al Khidr. When they spoke to him and asked if they could join him, he said, no, you won't understand what I do and you will keep questioning. So Musa alayhi salam made a promise that I'm not going to question you. And so as a result, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of three incidents in the surah where he did things and Musa alayhi salam asked him immediately, why did you do this? And he said, didn't I tell you not to ask? He says, well, I'm sorry, I forgot the first time. Second time he says, well, I'm sorry, I forgot. So Al Khidr says, now, if you ask me one more time, you can no longer be with me. And it happened a third time because crazy things. Imagine you and I walking with someone and suddenly they slap someone. For example, you would immediately say, why did you do this? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that after the third time, Al Khidr explains to Musa alayhi salam the example of all three things. Look, the first one, I made a hole in the boat because there was someone taking the boats that were perfect and I wanted there to be a small damage in the boat. So perhaps no one would take their boat, they could repair it and so on. The second one, he says, well, I killed this little boy because he was going to grow older. And if he grew older, he would grow older in the disobedience of Allah and be a source of distress for his parents. So I got rid of him by the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third one, he says, there was a wall that we straightened because under the wall, there was a treasure belonging to two orphans. And we didn't want the wall to fall before they grew older. When they grow older, they will get the treasure under that particular wall. From this, we learn the knowledge of Allah. Allah knows that which happened in the past. Allah knows that which is happening now. Allah knows that which will happen in the future. But there is a fourth element that Allah knows. He knows that which will not happen if it was going to happen, how it would have happened. Where do we get that from? The Surah, Surah Al-Kahf. Because take a look at the, the, the boat. They made a hole and Allah says, if you did not make the hole in the boat, it was going to be taken away by someone. Was it really taken away by anyone? No, it wasn't because there was a hole. Allah says, we know that there were, you were going to make the hole, but we also know if there was no hole, what would have happened? That's amazing. If you sit and ponder over it, it is one of the unique aspects of the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why my brothers and sisters, when something happens to you in your life, trust Allah. He knows. He knows why he did not give you what you wanted. And he knows if he did give it to you, how it would have ended up. That also is in the knowledge of Allah. So this is one very interesting point I thought I'd mention. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products.
थैंक यू असलमकुम इसलमिक मोटीभेशन दिन जन एंड दिन जन बांगला इज आवार अफिसियल चैनल भिजिट आवार डिस्क्रिपन बक्स एंड पिन कमांड टू बै साम इसलमिक प्रोडक्ट थैंक यू